Hi, this is uh, Nick Cleverland from Pegasus Property in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, me and my business partner John Colclough run a development company called Pegasus Property. Uh, we've got a combined experience of 13 years uh, doing property development. Uh, my personal background is in uh, HMO developments. Uh, I've got a portfolio of HMOs that I own. And uh, about 12 months ago now, we started doing projects for other people. So sourcing, renovating the properties and then finishing them off uh, with dressing furniture uh, and we also let it for them as well. So we do full lettings and we've got a sizeable uh, portfolio now. Um, so this property that I'm currently in is uh, Birch's Head Road in Stoke-on-Trent uh, which is just to the northeast of the city centre. We're approximately a 10 minute walk from the city centre. Um, it's an up and coming area and we own several HMOs uh, on this street. Uh, this was a three bedroom, end terrace Victorian property, uh, built approximately around 1910 to 1920s. Uh, it's of very sound construction, uh, it's a very well made property. Uh, you can tell from looking at the front of the building that a lot of care was taken in uh, making this uh, house look great. So um, what we've done is we've actually carved this up into a six bedroom, uh, six bathroom HMO. Uh, five of the bedrooms have en suites and one of the bedrooms has an off suite. So it has its own bathroom but it's not attached uh, onto the bedroom unfortunately. Uh, but that's reflected in the uh, rental uh, value for that room. Um, so we should get approximately 450 per room for this property. Uh, meaning that it will generate just under £3,000 per month. Uh, the property costs £122,000 to purchase. Uh, we spent £48,000 on the renovation. Uh, we expect the refile on this property to be bricks and mortar because it's an unlicensed HMO. So it'll probably refile it around uh, 175 to 180k, uh, meaning the client will be able to pull some cash back out. They will keep some money tied up in this deal. However, uh, the the cash flow on this property will be uh, enormous for the money that's been invested. So the ROI is quite high. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to walk around the property. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I'm going to talk about some pros and cons and think, you know, things that went well, things that didn't go so well. Um, so I will now begin. So this is the uh, front hallway as you walk in. I've got the doors just behind me. And we've got what was essentially uh, two reception rooms with that back door there going through into the back reception room in the kitchen. We've got a lovely um, original Minton floor here, a tiled floor, which we managed to uh, uh, restore. And we've got this really cool archway here, which is also uh, an original feature. So we've kept that as well. I really love original features in these properties because we've got an abundance of them. Even that coat hanger there, obviously we put new chrome um, hooks on, but you know, the wood is original. This stair banister is original. All of this coving is original. Um, so you can see on the left hand side we've done a white, whilst on the right hand side we've done a light grey. And that's just to break up the room slightly, um, you know, which, which I think is, is, is worth quite well. in Just kind of breaking those colours up so it's not just brilliant white throughout. So going into room number one. So this is the first bedroom. As you can see we've done uh, kind of light grey as a base coat with white ceilings and then a slate grey as a feature wall. And we've got some really cool artwork, two bedside tables. We've got this big bay window behind me, wardrobe, chest of drawers and an ensuite. So this is the ensuite, fully tiled. Kind of keeping a theme with the rest of the property. Got a little uh, little vanity unit there, a little towel rad. So yeah, yeah. The the bathrooms kind of continue the theme with the uh, you know lots of greys and stuff. Um, but yeah, in general, this room's quite big. We need to get some blinds up there, some Phoenician blinds, just because of the road. Make it a little a little bit more privacy. So um, I can't show you into this room yet because it's not quite finished. So we go down here. So this is the back reception room, which is um, turned into a little communal space. So again, we've got the grey feature wall, 
light grey as a base coat, grey carpet, a uh, little 32 inch TV. It probably won't get used much but you know it's just kind of nice to have um, a communal space for tenants to use if they want to. Uh, this is quite a cool little feature, so it's got a little armrest with drinks holder. Um, under stairs cupboard there for a bit of storage. Got plenty of storage in here to put things uh, into the communal kitchen. So it's a Holden's kitchen. Got a few notices up, which are uh, please keep the entrance and exit locked at all times. Strictly no smoking on this premises. And we've got a do not place hot pans on this worktop because it's slamming it <laughs> and it will burn. So yeah, so that's kind of this kitchen. Dryer, washing machine. It's got all, all the bits and bobs that you need for a HMO. Yeah, nice. We go upstairs now. So this project took uh, 12 weeks to complete. 48,000 pounds, six bedrooms. It's been done, been done to a good spec as well, as you can see. So this is one of the front bedrooms. Should probably uh, make that a little bit neater. A bit OCD like that. So yeah, it has a walk-in wardrobe on the right. So this is the room that has the off-suite. It's a little walk-in wardrobe there. Again, we did the uh, light grey, you know, wall with the white, just to break it up. All the ensuites are pretty much identical to each other. The mirrors need fixing onto the walls. This room's a bit of a funny shape because of uh, the way we carve the rooms up. You, you've seen the floor plans. You've seen the floor plans, how, how, it, how it works. So this is your middle bedroom. So what was kind of cool about this room was, um, you know, we had this chimney breast here and we knew we wanted to put the bed there. So we knew we'd kind of have the chimney breast coming down and creating this kind of awkward space. So we actually put um, put that shelf in along there with a bit of stud work. So now it's made a nice little uh, place to put a reading lamp and put some books on there or whatever, you know. So uh, we put TV points in all the rooms as well. We always strategically place them next to a plug socket with a, a chest of drawers. So, you know, if a tenant's kind of laying in bed, their TV's opposite the bed. Fully tiled, tiled floors. We need to put mirrors in all the bathrooms still. All the bathroom trays are 1200s. So, nice and big shower trays. Good. Obviously, we've got obviously we've got fire doors throughout. And we're using uh, Perco's, which are the the chain. Oh, let's focus. It's the little chain mechanism that you can see there. So that just uses the chain to basically shut the door. It does make a slam noise, so it's not exactly the best thing in the world, but it looks better than an overhead closer. Um, so this bathroom's the off suite, which is for bedroom number six, which is just uh, there at the front. So this is the off suite. It's quite a nice, uh, it's quite a nice little bathroom, kind of square, 
style toilet, nice big sink. And then finally, this is the back bedroom. So the original door frame was there and um, this kind of ensuite here was actually one big bathroom. So we actually split this into two bathrooms, one to create an off suite and then to make the ensuite for this room. So we moved the door frame from there back to there just to give this room a little bit more space because um, it all counts, you know. So yeah, this is, uh, this is the last bedroom. We do, we do these kind of nice neutral finishes with Pegasus property, try and do a nice high end product. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been educational. So yeah, thank you very much for watching our uh, short video. I hope it was uh, educational for you. Um, you know, Pegasus property has been going 12 months now and uh, we've got 12 projects currently under renovation, ranging from uh, HMO, commercial to residential in new builds. Um, so if you'd like to invest with Pegasus property, uh, visit our website, www.pegasuspg.com. Uh, if you'd like to see what our lettings website looks like, that's pegasuslettings.com. Uh, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, we've got lots of other useful videos regarding property investment. Uh, and you can also ring 01782 454 987 or you can email info at pegasuspg.com and one of us will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, we also run development days which are every few, uh, every few months. Um, they range in price depending on what uh, kind of pro uh, projects we're going to be looking at. Uh, but the next, the next tour is uh, fully booked. So uh, keep your eye out on our website for when the next available dates are. Thank you very much for watching.